Welcome to my new application ORC, online recruiting system. My name is Ahmed. Working as software engineer. Today I'm gonna show you a quick brief about this system for normal users. This application is a web-based application, using the latest technologies of Web 2.0. The core of this system is SQL Server Database .NET Framework 4.5 The application is applicable on any mobile devices, Windows Phone, Android and iOS. This is the main page of ORC application that allows users to sign in or sign up. Step 1. If you don't have an account, click Sign Up. Fill the form. By entering your data, first name, last name, email address. Type your password, then confirm it. Click Submit. Once you finish, a confirmation email will send to you to complete the registration. Now open your email to check out the verification code. Fill the form. Click Submit. Now let's sign in using your new email account by typing your username and password. Click Submit. This is the main page of that administrator that have all menus, functions and alerts. First tab is Admin Home, second tab is Job Seeker. Third tab is Employer tab. And fourth is to log out. Once you log in, you can see all tabs because I logged in as an administrator. 1. By clicking Home, you will see a small cards. In each card you will see a brief about all available vacancies posted on the website. Holding the count of these jobs. 2. Browse Job Seekers. This allows admin to search all job seekers by name. 3. Browse employers, this allows admin to search all employers by company name, in addition you can view all companies. 4. Contact job seeker. In this case admin can send an email to any job seeker who have account in the website by searching for specific account. Or even a notify him in his private account. Write message title. Enter your message. Click send. 5. Mass email it's an advanced tool to set up the email template that will be sent for all users. 6. Search vacancies and allows to search for any specific vacancy. Second tab is the job seeker tab. 1. In the front page you will see an electronic ID card holding your photo job title and any notifications for current user. 2. By clicking update my profile you can able to update profile, your basic data such as full name, password, phone, email, region also you can uploading a new account photo. 3. Viewing user resume that automatically created to facilitate the process of getting a job. Third link is my CV link. In this screen you can update and control all your employment data. 1. As you see there is collapsible links that help you to classify your personal data. First update personal data, certificates, skills, education and extra information required. 2. By clicking auto search. You can apply any of available job vacancies that compatible with your employment setup by clicking the button on the right side. You can apply the selected job that viewing in the list. 3. Searching for an employer. By the file that you interested in. 4. Last link is your historical data. This data is very helpful for you because it holding all your previous vacancies that you apply before. Plus the status of each one sorting by the newest one. The third tab is Employer tab. 1. This screen you can update your company profile. 2. Adding new job vacancy by choosing any specific criteria that required. 3. Company vacancies and allows you to view all jobs that posted by you. 4. Searching for any other employer and view his company profile. 5. 
you can control all your previous posted jobs. Last tab on right side is the Logout tab. Once you click on it, you clear all your login data. By click the link below you can re-login. In case you forget your password, the website will send you a confirmation email. To reset your password, After receiving the confirmation code on your email to reset your password, you can reset the password by yourself and re login using the new data that you set. At last, if you face any error, you may receive a quick email to keep you in touch with your account status. And in case if you lost your login data and got your account locked, you have to contact the help desk to resolve this issues. So the website is automatically resolved the technical issues. Thank you for watching. And I hope you enjoyed the explanation.